Let's measure and begin working on the sleeves for our seamless sweater. You can see here one of the sleeves already finished. I'm showing you the measurement of 17 and a half inches. That is going to be the length of the sleeve for most of the sizes. But instead of uh, doing exactly 17 and a half inches, please measure your uh, desired length and knit until you have that length. I will remind you of that as we go through the project. You will want uh, round needles, five millimeters, and a set of double pointed needles, also five millimeters. We will start with double pointed needles because we have so few stitches for the rib around the wrist, and then we will slowly transition to the round needles with a short cord. So here you see we have a longer two by two two knit two purl rib. And then we switch to stockinette stitch and begin shaping the sleeve. We will begin with casting on using our round needles. Then we'll transition to closing the round with our double pointed needles. Remember in the first video of this series, I showed you long tail cast on and this uh, knitted on chain cast on. Uh, I prefer this knitted on chain cast on for this type of project, but of course, any type of casting on should work really well that you prefer for this project. We need 44 stitches. Remember that in the description of the video, you have links that will take you to photos with my notebook notes so that you can use them to uh, adjust the number of rows and stitches if needed. Let's cast on the 44 stitches. Remember that you need 44 stitches for the rib, but please do cast on one extra stitch. You will have a total of 45. When we're closing the round, that first and last stitches will be worked together and we will be back to 44. So make sure you have 45 before you stop casting on.
Now I am ready to transition to my double pointed needles. I'm going to do one knit and then two purl, then two knit. Remember how in the second video I showed you how to do this through and twist under so that the edge of your rib follows the shape of the pattern. But if you don't want to do it this way, you can do a normal knit to purl to. You want to do 11 stitches on each double pointed needle. So once we have 11 stitches on this needle, we will get the second 11 stitches, then the third, then the fourth. Then we will be ready to close the round. Now it is time to close the round. We have to make sure that we carefully line everything up, that nothing is twisted, that the edge of the rib is to the bottom, that our needles are positioned correctly for knitting now in the round. So you want to turn your work over so that you are positioned to not go back, but to go forward, closing the round. And now you take your fifth needle and you begin. You knit two together, the last and the first stitch, you're going to knit them together. And now you will make your way around.
And now our first round is finished. We now continue working one round at a time, maintaining 11 stitches on each needle until the ribbing is over finished. Here in this video, I'm going to do 37 rows. Please check in the description link to my notebook page notes and decide if you would like to have the same amount of rows or fewer. You, you can um, customize the project to your liking here. Taking a look at our work here, we're getting a nicely shaped rib, comparing it to the sleeve that's already finished. And keep knitting until you have the length of 37 rows. To knit, to purl, do not change the number of stitches yet. Let's take a look at the transition on the finished sleeve. 
we need to start shaping the sleeve to open it up and widen it as we go up, up the arm. So first thing we're going to do is add one stitch to each of the four knitting needles. So instead of 44, we will have 48. We will do this increase in the middle. So on the fifth stitch, one, and now you're doing all knit, two, three, four, five, and now pick up the stitch from below and add one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next needle, we are also going to increase one, knit all stitches, one, two, three, four, five, pick up the loop from the row below and add one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The next needle, the third increase, all knit stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to increase on the sixth stitch because I want to increase on the knit stitch. It looks much more clean. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more increase to finish the round. One, all knit, two, three, four, five, six. Pick up one stitch before the seven, then eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You have switched all stitches to knit. Now we are going to get stockinette stitch as we knit every round. And now we will do five rows, knitting all the way around, maintaining 48 stitches. So go ahead and work five rows on 48 stitches, stockinette stitch.
Let's take a look here. I have my rib, transition, increase to 48 stitches and stockinette stitch. And let's count our rows. One, two, three, four, five. Five rows. This little tail that I have not I, I'm still to weave in on the bottom shows us, always reminds us we've gone around one. Now we need to increase on first and fourth needle on the third stitch. So one, this is the first needle. Two, increase. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stitches on needle one. Keep twelve on needle two. Keep 12 on needle 3. Next, you're going to do the increase at the end of needle 4. So beginning of needle 1, end of needle 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three stitches are left. Undo these three stitches. You see, I did not do the increase here. So I had the increase on needle one. Now I need to undo the three stitches that I went too fast on. One, two, Three, this is where I put the increase. 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's take a look here. We have the rib, transition, five rows, and our increase on first and fourth needle. The third stitch from the beginning on the first needle, the third stitch from the end on the fourth needle. Every ninth row, you're going to do this increase. That means you're going to work eight rows and increase on the ninth. Work eight rows, increase on the ninth. So now let's work eight rows and increase again on the ninth. So let's look here what is happening with these increases every ninth row. You can see here on the finished sleeve how we go up from the rib and we are shaping, we are expanding the circumference of the sleeve by adding these stitches every ninth row. Five more times. Every ninth row, five more times. Let's keep going. Looking up close, we see here how we see those two stitches from the same row. We count up and we see that we are ready to increase. Let's look at how to increase again. Needle one two knit stitches, then make one 
and two. Make two from one and finish. You're going to now have 14 stitches on needle one. You will work needles two and three without increases. Then you will do an increase on the third stitch from the end on needle four. Here is the end of needle four, third stitch from the end. Pull the loop from the bottom to make two from one and finish the round. Now we keep going on. Another eighth rows without increases. The ninth row, you're going to increase again. At some point, you will be ready to switch your work to the round needles. Whenever you feel that it is time to do that, go ahead and switch from double pointed to the rounds. And in the next ninth row from this point, you will increase again and keep going. Let's take a look at the finished sleeve and compare to where we are at this stage in the project. Here I'm going to open it so you see in the middle all the increases. And here is my second sleeve in the working. I have finished all of the increases there, but I don't have the length that I need. I have also switched to round needles here, as you can see earlier, when it felt like it was the time to do that. And we have now here some more rows to work to get to the end of the sleeve length. Notice here, this was my last increase. I also want to find that last increase on the finished sleeve and show you how you can count the rows you want to work for the full length that you need. Your tension may require you to have a few more or a few less rows. So here I'm counting the rows and you want to come to the top. This is important when you finish your sleeve to your custom length, you're going to count. I need to do 20 more rows. That's going to be also in my notebook pattern pages, but you decide what you're going to do. So I had the increase, I have finished one row round, now I need to do 19 more. It's all knit, no increases, keep going around, keep track of your rounds. When you have the full length needed, we're going to cast off a few stitches which are going to be underarm stitches with a contrast piece of yarn to hold them so that we can easily open them up when it's time to finish and connect all the parts.
Now it, we, I have the full length. It's time to do this partial cast off. Here is the marker which I have placed to mark the beginning of the round. I want seven stitches on each side of the marker. So seven at the end of the last round and seven at the beginning of the next round. I will take any scrap yarn I have that's contrast color and I will start casting off right here. Seven stitches on the right of my marker and seven stitches on the left of my marker. This marker here, I just placed it where, to help me remember the beginning of each round after transitioning to my round needles. What you're really doing is you're casting off the last seven stitches of the last round and the first seven stitches of what would be an additional round. Total of 14 stitches cast off right here on, on the inside of the sleeve. This is going to be underarm. And this contrast yarn will hold these stitches from unraveling through the next steps of the project. At the very end, they're going to be uh, connected and finished off with the color of your sweater. Okay, so here we're getting close to, I need to cast off 14 in total, seven and seven. And now I want to cut this off. And pull it through so it's lightly tied and easy to unravel when the time comes. So my second sleeve is done. It is very helpful to have extra needles to keep your things on, but you can use any size. Any size needle will work for holding the sleeves on them until you're ready to connect everything. We will connect the body of the sweater to the sleeves in the next episode, episode four of this tutorial series. See you soon.